hello everyone hope you are well the video today will be fast and it's sponsored by digit space just like the four previous ones three of them are about using gsa module to send and receive sms it's very easy or also to dial phone numbers and in the link right below you're gonna find the full playlist so the module today is a hall effect sensor it's used to detect a magnetic field using the hall effect to sum up the production of a voltage across a conductor which has a magnetic field applied perpendicular to it so this is the module and as you can see this board can be used with different uh, sensors but here we are using the hall effect sensor and it has four pins as you can see ground and vcc and black and red and then we have an analog output it's over here green and then a digital output which is here so the digital output is either 0 or 1 depending on the magnetic field strength and the threshold you can set using the potentiometer over here which also uh, changes the DC offset of the analog output and we're gonna see it on the serial monitor so as I said this will be fast one single wiring and one single code to test the module so you can later add it to your project for example a stop switch or a limit switch so first let's wire this module and it's very easy we have here analog output with a0 and then ground we're gonna use 5 volt for vcc and then a digital output we're gonna use with two for example and here is it it's already wired we're gonna see one single code so this is the code i'll be using and it's very simple here i'm just declaring my pins a0 and 2 for whole sensor or whole sensor d for digital so i'm using a0 and pin number two here i'm declaring two values to store the data sent by the sensor here as integer even though the digital output should be only boolean but that's not a problem here to establish communication between arduino and my computer here i'm defining the pin mode for the digital output here is an input for the arduino and here i just read the value it's either analog or digital and then i show them on the serial monitor it's just the right way to test your module so we're gonna upload the code and check the result so I'm gonna open my serial monitor and here as you can see on the left those are the analog values and on the right is the digital values as you can see the analog values it's around the middle of the ADC it's around 512 or 511 here for the test I'm gonna use a I don't have actually a magnet but I have a speaker over here and as you know they contain magnets so we're gonna test them we're gonna see so here as you can see we have two leds actually one of them is uh, lighten up which means the power is on the other one will light up depending on the threshold and if a magnetic field is detected so we're gonna test now as you can see the output is one and the led is uh, lighten up also the as you can see the analog value dropped depending on the polarity of the magnet so here i'm on the middle as you can see the value analog value is up it was around 512 but now it's 600 630 but here if the led lights up the other value drops down depending on the magnet polarity and here you can see that you can set the threshold sorry we're gonna test it now with a screwdriver so now as you can see the offset is going up this is now my offset 700 let's see if it detects now the magnetic field or not as you can see it's not detected anymore we changed the threshold and the output is is not one anymore it's not showing one 
always zero so here you can set your threshold now we're just going up until like 5 volt and it's not usable it's better to keep it at 500 or depending on your application so that's it for this module and the link right below you're gonna find the code and the wiring if it's needed but I can see here it's very simple and easy but I'm gonna post it anyway so thank you for your time and see you next time